Captain and Tangela too. And our host, Vincent Van Dahl. And he brings it to ya! Creature features! And all creatures! Quite a few humans living on this small planet. Some might think perhaps a good deal too many. And that's the topic of tonight's film. Welcome to Creature Features. I'm your host, Vincent Van Dahl. The tall gentleman over to this end of your television screen is my dutiful and dedicated director of this vast manor, the industrious Mr. Livingston. And the adorable tiny sprite over to this side, who appears to be channeling the Victorian era via retroactively designed clothing and accessories fashioned in a Jules Verne motif, would be my delightfully destructive doormate, Tangela. And have we a simply spectacular program in store just for you? First up, we shall screen a most interesting film from 1971 entitled... name was that? That would be the cruise ship Tuna of the Sea. Cruise ship? Bodega Harbor cannot even facilitate large yachts, let alone an entire cruise ship. The skipper of that craft has come to that conclusion as well. They are attempting to tug it back out to sea as we speak. Now what's wrong with you? Oh my goodness. She was looking forward to chucking raw Easter eggs at a large group of unsuspecting passengers. Onward. Tonight we shall screen a film entitled The Last Child from 1971. Set in a dystopian near future where a grossly overpopulated United States dictates that couples can have only one child. When the Millers decide to have a second child, they have no choice but to escape their Orwellian government and head up to Canada, where it would appear that people can have as many babies as they are able to conceive. Don't look at me like that. I didn't pen the bloody plot. Starring Michael Cole from The Mod Squad, Janet Margolin from David and Lisa, and Ed Asner from Mary Tyler Moore, the psychological thriller will surely amuse you. Especially if you tell your children as they watch that this could happen with any government at any time, and should it occur, you'd have to draw straws to see which child would have to escape to go work in the circus. Oh, stop, I merely jest. And rhyming with the word jest is the word guest, and it appears that we are lacking in that particular department tonight. But fret not, weary viewers, we shall check in with the denizens of the household, and perhaps even persuade our director Tom to sit in for a segment. So don't go away, for it is to be another night of dystopian fright, right here on Creature Features! No, love. Please do not hijack the captain of the tuna of the sea and force him to be a guest. They need his skills to back out the boat. Stay tuned! Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. This brief moment of tranquility has been brought to you by Nightscape. Relax and sleep better every single night with this and other videos from our free YouTube channel. Learn more by visiting nightscape.co today. Ha! 
Happy Almost Easter and welcome to Creature Features. You know, it's not too often we do a show before Easter. I beg your pardon? No, I'm, I, I'm jesting. It's, it's, it's almost every Easter that we do. Well, Easter's always, always on Sunday, right? That's how we do it before. I don't know why. Why, why is Easter always on Sunday? How do they figure that out? Is it like a, a first Sunday of the month type thing? It's 40 days after Lent. Or 40 days after. Oh, my goodness. This thing's living. So, uh, welcome to the show. Uh, if you're just joining us for the first time, uh, this is a chick that is not a chick. That is Tangella, and she is uh, making art because uh, she decided that steampunk is is the proper fashion for Easter, so she's dressed for Easter. These, this is her Easter garment. Primary. Right? right? What Easter. should I wear tomorrow? Where are you going? I don't know. Well, I'm going to, I'm go, going to go Easter hunt, egg hunting, right? Oh, I'll have to make yeah. some eggs then. No, she's already taken care of it. I just don't know where the eggs came from. What kind of animal they are. That is a good I, question. You know, I think they're possibly rattlesnake eggs. Or right. alligator. Alligator? No. Not too many around here. So our movie tonight is The Last Child from 1971. And, uh, you know, I recall seeing this film on a VHS tape. And apparently, at the time, it was quite controversial because it was like, uh, you know, the whole one-child law being applied here in the United States, which would be unconventional, would it not? It would be unconventional. Indeed. Right, right. But maybe necessary one day. But right now, thankfully not. But uh, it, was a, it was a big deal when it came out originally. And uh, maybe it'll be a, a big deal tonight. Or maybe you'll just laugh like the rest of us. Because Ed Asner does not make a very good bad guy. No, he's, he's got a jolly face. He, how, how can a man with a jolly face be a bad guy? I think he looks rather sour. No, he looks he looks like he's angry because he missed a bus. But well, he does not look angry enough to be a, a killer, a hired killer or anything like that. Right? Is that what he is? No, he's he works for the government to to capture these people. So yeah. I think he's like a G man. A government man. A government man, yes. Oh. Anyways, we're going to watch that. Uh, we're going to visit with uh, Tangela Livingston, uh, maybe Andrew, and our director, Tom. And uh, we're just going to have fun tonight, right? Right. Tangela, are we going to have fun? See, we always have fun when Tangela's here. But she's not always here, so it's, it's not always fun, is it? We still have fun without her, don't we? She's, we have more fun without her. You know, she causes trouble is the problem. No, we go places, and then next thing, you know, she's putting M80s into toilets. Or the store detective are trying to get rid of them. No, well, you cannot put a quarter stick of dynamite into a public loo. No. It, it causes plumbing issues. It also costs a lot of money. Uh, it costs me a lot of money. Anyway, so let's start this film. When we come back, uh, we're going to chat some more. So we will see you on the other side of the break. See you soon. Mine. Welcome back to the show. We are watching The Last Child. You know, don't go into a dystopian future if you have a baby bump. Don't do it. You'll be arrested and you'll be inspected and uh, that would not be a wonderful thing. Speaking of inspections, what's with the white gloves? It is inspection day today. And you've been like doing the thing. For the household staff. You should see this. He like, he d what do you call it? The white glove test? White glove test. My goodness. So far, so good. What about the top of her head? Check. Check the top of her head for dust. Show me. It's clean. That's new. Yeah, typically she's she's out soiling herself in the in the manure. Right? Indeed. No, she loves her animals. She's gonna do that. And she likes a chick. This one. Yeah, that's ingenious. Can you imagine the mechanical 
design that had to go into making something like this. It's a yeah. simple. No, I've seen them doing the tiny ones. This require this was probably designed by Mercedes Benz, because they know motors and mechanisms. Anyways, a fun movie, I think, so far. This cannot be too fun of a movie. I don't think so. Yeah, I think we should show more fun movies on this it's program. It's a bit frightening. That's no, no, no. You know, a film we have not shown in, in quite some time is The Guatemalan Handshake. No. Uh, it's true. It's been quite some time. Since yes, it has been quite some time, and it could be quite longer. No, but it's a fun movie. There's uh. like humor. You Human call it that. This. this film is depressing. It can be. You know, we, we, we claim to entertain our friends at home every Saturday night, and this is, this is a somewhat depressing film. Yeah, we're heading in this it's, direction. It's a serious subject. No, well, no. Well, the Chinese have been doing this for years. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm just talking about the whole Snoopy Snoopy thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll be there one day. You, know? you won't be able to do anything without some G-man saying whether you can or cannot. Oh. Right, right. Who wants to live like that? Anyways, uh, let's get back to the film. And uh, when we come back, I think we should do some mail, should we not? Yes. We shall do some mail. So uh, stick around, watch the film. See you on the other side of the break. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Oh, it's letter time. Oh, it's letter time. Oh, it's letter time. You know, we should do a song called Letter Time. No. He's no fun. He used to be, you know, before the beard and when he had hair on his head, when the hair was not here but was up here, he, he was a fun bloke. You know, he, used to be, he, used to, he used to go to Japanese restaurants and speak Japanese. He used to order sushi in that language. Now he goes and he, he speaks American. I doubt that. No, you speak quite American. Anyways, uh, we need to read our mail because our viewers sent it to us. And if we do not read their mail, they would be quite perturbed with us, would they not? Indeed. Indeed. This is from Jason Doobie in Sacramento. Did you say Jason Doobie? It appears to be Doobie. I'm Jason yes. Doob. D Doobie? Dubé. He could be French. Dubé. Dubé. In Sacramento, we know this place. I've been to Sacramento. You know, it's the capital of California, and there's a very large building there, which they call the capital of all things. The Capitol building. No, well, it's the city is called the capital. How can a building be the capital? Because it's the capital building. But they don't call it that. I would have no issue if they simply called it the capital building, but they call it the capital. So I'm confused. I arrive at the capital. And I'm not at the Capitol yet. I have to go to the Capitol building. Oh, what a nicely written note. Now, it's not often that I get handwritten notes that I could read. All right, dear Tangella in the Creature Feature family. I don't think anyone's ever called us that. The family. Creature Feature family. No, it's, it's, it's almost like we're mafia. No, it's think more about like it. there are a lot She's of skeletons. She's got a machine gun, you know. A lot of skeletons in the closet. Speaking of the state that's illegal she could go to jail for that i've been watching enjoying your show each week i love all the classic films and the interactions between the hosts you, you should
That sounded like a World War II fighter. I think it's the plane checking on the ship. Oh. No. We've got a boat stuck in the harbour. Yeah, okay. none of the fishermen can get in or out now. It is a There's a, there's a cruise ship stuck in the mouth of Bottega Bay. It's unbelievable. All right, uh, let's see. I love all the classic films and the interactions between the hosts. You should see the interactions between these two when the camera's not rolling. It's, it's, it's not very interesting. I'm a comic book artist and publisher, and a lot of times I'm drawing panels of my latest book while playing your show. I thought you might enjoy my latest vampire comic book called Bite Me. You think there's one in here? It's called Bite Me. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is wonderful. Well, let's look at all these things. This can go. This can be gone. Uh, bite Me. So this is Bite Me. Right? Oh, it even comes in a plastic. That's nice. Now, this way, when he's famous, we can sell this for thousands and thousands of dollars because he includes the plastic. I thought you might enjoy my latest vampire comic book called Bite Me, but even if comic books aren't your thing, perhaps you'll recognize my sketch on the back. I most certainly do. Look familiar? Uh, thanks for such a cool show, Jason. Dube? 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 I don't Dube. know. No, no, it's it's a great name. This is this is not you know this uh, this looks like Tangela. somebody much nicer than her. You know, he you know he drew her with kindness in her eyes, and you know that's that's where you did not do well, Jason. Is because she's not this kind in her eyes. She's got like an evil look, more like these girls that you did on the front, something like that. I don't know. I'm not an artist. He gave all this information. Jason Dube, comic book artist, publisher. Scattered Comics. Very nice. Wonderful. Next up, Mr. Livingston. From Fontana, California. Fontana, California. You know, I think that's down by Los Angeles. I mean, we used to live down by Los Angeles, and then we moved up here. It was called Beverly Hills. Well, before Brentwood, it was. Oh, this is wonderful. Look at this beautiful card. This is... Uh, what do they call it uh, when they make art like this? Death art? No, no, no. It's like, it's like uh, etched or carved or shaved or something. Oh, I uh, don't recall. It'll come back to woodcut. me. Woodcut. Woodcut. Yes. That's what it's called, woodcut. All right. Let's see what we've got. Oh, wonderfully printed note from Wayne the Buff Beckham. Greetings all, I recently discovered your program through our mutual acquaintance with the Grim Life Collective. You remember them? They were on last week. Yes. She causes all kinds of trouble for them. Yes, indeed. Recovering from hip surgery, binge watching your episodes has been a bomb to my aching bones. Well, it's the first time we've ever been medically graded as a cure for pain. I love it. Vincent, I find your guest interviews especially interesting. You're patient and accepting with guests that seem intent on behavior bordering on rude. She does that all the time. Did anyone ever introduce Tom Sizemore to John Wayne's eminently bad portrayal of Genghis Khan in The Conqueror? You know, we did. We did show him a clip afterwards, and he felt, uh, he f he felt uh, somewhat miffed. That, uh, he, he was, was incorrect. surprised. He was. If I could change anything about your program, it would be to increase the number of interludes with the urbane and sophisticated Mr. Livingston, along with the coquettish catastrophe, Miss Tangella. She's a rather coquettish catastrophe, and I shall pinch that line from you on the next introduction, sir. I hope eventually to learn more about the history of the Poulton Manor and the often hinted at ghostly residents. Like Vincent, I love a good ghost story. Thanks again to all the good folks at Creature Features for the many hours of entertainment. Best wishes, Wayne the Buff Beckham. P.S. I am, of course, a proud patron. Well, thank you so much for the kind notes and the wonderful card and being a patron. You know, we don't talk about the patron stuff enough, do we? We, you know, our management says we need to be pushing that all the time. I just don't like asking people for cash, you know. But I suppose we need it. So, anyways, visit us at the uh, Patreon link below if you want to learn more about becoming a sponsor of the show. 
It's good to have sponsors, right? It means they Indeed. like us. All right, last one. A package from Tom and Julie Walsh. In Tom and Julie Walsh. That's Gilbert, a, Arizona. Gilbert, Arizona. You know, it's a very hot place, Arizona. I've been there. And it, well, it's hot. It's gorgeous. It's a yes. beautiful place. All right, what do we got? We've got an L with, speaking of money, see, mm. ask and it shall come. 20 American dollars. Uh, let's see, Vincent, Mr. Livingston, and Tangela. Hello, hello, hello. Encloses a gift for each of you as a token of our appreciation for your clever antics. This one says Livingston. You might as well start opening that. And, uh, oh, I know this one, who this one's for. Look at this. Miss Tangela, somebody sent you a gift. Oops. Grab it from the top. Oh, there you go. Oh, no. We also would like to encourage any and all of your fans to put their vote in for the Rondo Awards Favorite Horror Host. Your creativity deserves an award. Thank you all again, Tom and Julie Walsh. You know, that's, a, that's the second time in a few weeks this Rondo thing's come up. Mm -hmm. yeah, we used to we used to like think, oh, maybe we stand a chance at some point. But uh, no, it's, it's Sven Gulli always wins that one. Let me see. I run on coffee and horror movies. Mr. Livingston, let me see this personalized cup. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at this. Someone took a, a lot of time and effort. Yeah, I hope you start like drinking that. your tea out of this instead of that Decidedly. nasty brown cup that you always use. P.S. Since you have a love of music, the book encloses in case you have as much trouble with song lyrics as you do movie titles. Well, let's see what they sent me. And it sounds like it's a book called Excuse Me While I Kiss the Sky and Other Misheard Lyrics by Gavin Edwards, illustrated by Chris Kalb. Oh, this is wonderful. I wonder if they've got any of my songs in here. I bet they Perhaps. do. No, they only did famous songs. Oh. I failed to write very many famous songs. In fact, I don't think I wrote any, did I? Unfortunately. Unfortunately. No, fortunately, I think. Fortunately for you. And then a wonderful gift of 20 American dollars. Thank you for the cash. It will go to a good cause. Mostly our budget. Is that it? That would be it. That is it for mail. If you'd like to send us an email, send it to the address you see here. Or if you'd like to send us a wonderful box of personalized gifts, send it to the address you see right here. We'll be uh, back soon with uh, somebody else besides Tangella uh, after the next break. Don't go away. See you soon. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by the Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com. Welcome back to Creature Features. We're watching The Last Child, 1971. Uh, no guest tonight, but Andrew has uh, decided to sit in. Well, Tangela sits out. And uh, this film, people over 65 do not get medical treatment. So that means uh, Andrew and I would get medical treatment, but he would not, right? Right. Right. Uh -huh. Good thing. Good thing. So... Uh, What's new, Andrew? Ugh. All is well. Y yeah. I see you have her. Uh, she gets all the cool toys. I mean, well, oh, look, right. I'm Chicken Little. The sky is falling. Oh, that's not the sky. <coughs> well, you know, uh, she is the child of the household. So uh, you should be getting tools and lumber as a gift. You know, if you want to send gifts in the mail to Andrew, you need to send him tools and lumber, right? Radio would be nice. Please do not. What? A radio or a TV. A nice. radio or a TV. You know, I, I don't think you should watch television. Do you? You might get some ideas. He might find better employment somewhere else. 
any case, uh, so uh, this, this film, 65 and over, right? No medical attention. No medical attention. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, I, I suppose that's one way to decrease the population, but I, I, I like the one about the one child rule better. Don't you? Why? Because you know, too many kids can be problematic. Your diaper bill wouldn't be that much. The diaper bill, right? So a lower diaper bill. Yeah, she is somewhat rather irritating, is she not? Indeed. Somewhat. You know, I think I think they should send her down to the harbor, and she could help them pull that cruise ship out of the mouth of the harbor. Don't I you think? I think that would be dangerous. No, she could just appear on the harbor, and it would frighten the ship out of the sea. Or we could throw her off the pier. Yeah, I, I don't know if she'd go for that. You, you, you better be careful, Andrew. You know, she would be much nicer to you if you did not always tease her. She wouldn't. She's, she's, she's always teasing her. All right, well, what do you say we get back to this film, right? Oh, now he's up to it as well. All right, let's get back to the film, and uh, when we come back, uh, we'll, we're going to talk to Tom, right? I hope Finally, so. a real guest for me. See you soon. Jim from Philadelphia. You guys are doing a great job, and you ought to come here to make horror movies because we got a lot of murder going on here. Thank you. Hello, this is Livingston. Apparently, one of my newly acquired domestic duties is to request help for our show financially by asking you to visit our patron page. Your generosity will help keep Creature Features on the air, which I'm not entirely sure is a good thing. However, with only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new programming each week, which apparently some of you curiously enjoy. And should you have the desire to give even more, you might even receive a gift from Ms. Tangella. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com. What in God's name type of pornography are you watching on my set? No, I'm watching Star Wars. Star Wars? In that little thing? I am. Show me. Show me, show me, show me. Why in God's name would anybody want to watch... Oh, look. It's Luke Skywalker. That why, was, would any, this, why would anybody want to watch it like that this? That was one of the only ways you could see it in 1977. 1970? Well, you could go to the, the, the cinema. Yeah, that's it. But at home... For oh. home viewing, this this and the Super 8 movie. Oh, show me the Super 8 was the only movie. way. That's about eight minutes long. The, I was going to say the entire film. No, it's only about eight minutes. So and, which eight minutes? And it came in black and white silent and also came in color with sound. So this is black and white. That's black and white silent. Yeah. Eight minutes of the film. What, which yeah. eight minutes? It just they take selected scenes and they put yeah. it in there. And, Random uh, scenes. Yeah, you could buy those at Kmart or you could order them through the mail. Ken Films? Ken Films, yeah. Ken Films, is yeah. this a, a thing? Yeah. So you can find those on eBay now. Right. Uh -huh. What would something like this run? It was probably around $7.50. New? New, yeah. What's it worth now? Uh, you can find that one pretty easily. It's $25 on eBay. 
25 dollars yeah. on ebay and then of course they had this which cartridge would come out there they had like six different cartridges that one looks more valuable yeah that's fine and it's color and it's color, and it's color. yeah so there's yeah. a big difference yeah we're running a little piece of it here right now so that right, folks yeah, at home can yeah, see of it course, yeah of course we have to do this so what's this and then here? when you actually wanted to see the whole movie in 1982, it came out on VHS. Oh, it's but a videotape. for rental only. Rental only. You could only rent it in 1982. So there was a long list it's of people. It's heavy. Yeah, it is heavy. It's a VHS tape. And, right, but uh, this is it's special? Why is it so heavy? It has a heavy shell on it, the, the clam oh, shell. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Because oh. yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's a rental uh, tape. And, uh, so you could not own? At that point, no. Unless you did this. You just had the, the Super 8 movies and then the little viewer. I never all. knew. So, so So why was it so restrictive? Uh, at, at first, they just decided to release it as a rental. It wasn't until a few years later that it actually was sold as a VHS tape for home. It's incredible. Okay. And what's that last item? And then this one is the very first issue of uh, Star Wars. The Comet very issue. first the issue? The very first issue, number one. Show me this, this. one's been graded. So it's in a plastic uh, case. Right. And uh, they're very valuable now, especially if they're graded. And, so uh, this is worth like a million dollars. Not right? a million dollars, but uh, actually those are probably 500 to $600 right now for that. $600 for a bloody comic? That's right. And that, that one is a 9.2, I believe it 9 .2, is. 9.2, yeah, right. And, and I just saw on eBay today that a 9.8 is going for $9,000. Nine thousand dollars. Nine thousand dollars. Yeah. For a comic. Amazing. Yeah. And it probably comes in a case like this, and they'll never it's, read it, right? It's graded, right? So. Uh, My goodness. You actually take the comics and send them off to a grader, and they degrade them and put them in plastic and and put the label on it. So, can you open this case? Well, if you do, then it loses its value. So, yeah. So, so it's more how, of a collectible. How are you supposed to read it? You can't read it. Yeah. You have to buy a lesser value one and read that. Oh. One that's kind of yeah. used. You know, I this is this is one business I would never go into comic books because it's too yep. confusing and there's far too much uh, technicalities involved. Yeah, but the issue that all these are first because they're all the, the first things to be released and uh, very limited in 1977. Yeah. He has quite a massive collection of of how would you call it memorabilia. Memorabilia. I mean, yeah. he's got yeah. everything ever made for creature features. He's got all these Star Wars items and more. That's true. And yeah. then uh, what, what do you have the most of, you think? Like Disney stuff or what do you, what do you have? No, I have quite a bit of Star Wars. Uh, I've always liked Star Wars and the, and the first three movies that came out, right. uh, four, five, and six. Right. And, uh, and I have comics and uh, films and, and the tapes. I have the, the original DVDs when they first came out and the posters and and the figures and stuff like that. So oh, wonderful. A lot of the, the first ones to be released in the, in the late in the 70s. It's an impressive yeah. collection. You yeah. know, once he's done doing the direction on this program, I think he's going to open up the Tom Wersch Museum of the Bazaar. That's true. I'd right. love to do that. Right. And these, that. these will be, you could, you could go and you could watch a movie like this, just like this, right? That's right. Right. Yeah. yeah. One, one whole minute. One whole minute. That's it. Well, speaking of minutes, what do you say we get back to this uh, that film? That would be great. Yes, do that. And uh, when we come back, uh, we're going to find out what's happening next. So don't you dare go away. See you soon. Bye. Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best.
This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Stay tuned. This portion of Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Rolling to Canada in a train to escape yeah, the terrible? U.S. Special Forces. You know, this, uh, this film was made during the Vietnam War era, right? Yeah, 71, yeah. And so it, there's a parallel between people running from selective service to that's, Canada. That's true. And in this film, they're running to have more babies. It's like... Or at least baby to, have, to have the baby that she's exactly. pregnant with. Yeah. Right, right. Right. Anyways, welcome back to the show. Uh, we're watching The Last Child, 1971. Uh, interesting film. And uh, we're joined by our director, Tom Wersch, who just showed us a bunch of very interesting Star Wars items. Rare, right? Yes, they are. Very rare. Quite yeah. rare. So, yeah. uh, anyways, you've got a new film coming up. I do. Uh, it's called Up Late with Bob Wilkins. And Bob Wilkins was the original host of this program. Yeah, and there's uh, it does go into a little more of the history of Creature Features and includes a little bit of what we're doing right now. Right, in right. In the film, yeah. Right. And, uh, but it really is a kind of, I kind of call it a sequel to my first film, which was Watch Horror Films, Keep America Strong. Right. And uh, but this is more from the fan perspective of how they enjoyed the show and how they, you know, really enjoyed Bob. So this is new footage, which I understand you've had restored. Yes. So it looks even better than the way it actually looked on television, right? Yeah, I went back to the original tapes, which were preserved by Bob Wilkins and Bob Shaw. Right. Okay. They, they're the ones that actually kept the tapes. And I went back and had them... Uh, uh, re-digitalized and uh, you know it, they just look fantastic to begin with but you did some additional work as I well I did I did and uh, you know there's a lot of clips in there of, of Bob's show that have never been seen before so amazing uh, so if you're a Bob Wilkins fan and we, we imagine most people who watch our program are a Bob Wilkins fan you want to see this movie so you're doing screenings in the area correct and where can they go to find out more. Uh, they should go to GarfieldLaneProductions.com. GarfieldLaneProductions.com, and then all the information will be there with all dates. All the information is there for with theaters and times, and, uh, um, and of course, right. as it goes through the months ahead. And then uh, our guest, uh, Derek Zemrak, yes. told us that he's having a special Creature Feature Day. In just a few days from in now. In just a few days, yeah. and uh, we might pop in and say hello. I hope. No, we we must. I mean, I'll be there. You, no, well, that's that's why we're going to go. It's because you're there, and then all our friends will be there, and you know, Mr. Lobo will be Mr. there. Mr. Lobo's coming out, and then out. Lord yeah. Blood Raw. Yes, Miss Misery. Miss Misery. John Stanley. John Stanley. John Stanley. Yeah, it's going to be, be there. Be so it's going to be a fun day. Fun day at the uh, Arinda. At the Arinda. And yes. then, of course, you can find out more at that uh, Garfield Lane. Productions.com. Right. Right. Yeah. All right. Definitely. All right. Well, what do you say we wrap up this film? You get back yeah. in your director's chair. I we'll will. put Tangella there. Okay. I'm going to get her to talk tonight. I'll watch. All right. Off we go. Back to the end of The Last Child. We'll see you soon. This brief moment of tranquility has been brought to you by Nightscape. Relax and sleep better every single night with this and other videos from our free YouTube channel.
Learn more by visiting nightscape.co today. You know, she does keep the spirit in the household. Yes. Livingston and, and I have been decorated by you know whom. I think it's an evil spirit. She's indeed somewhat slightly evil. Anyways, uh, that is the end of the last child. You know, Ed Asner went off a cliff and, and, and died. The bad guy dies. No, well, that's what he gets for not being on the Mary Tyler Moore program. He, he went outside of his lane and he went off a cliff. So uh, anyways, interesting movie. I know it wasn't like the typical horror sci-fi we show, but it was, it was somewhat sci-fi like, right? I mean, yes. Future dystopia. It could have been like that, but it wasn't thankfully. And uh, maybe we'll show this movie again in, uh, I don't know, nine, 900 days, right? A thousand days. A thousand days. We'll show it again in a thousand days and then maybe it'll be better by that time. But. Uh, Anyways, uh, so, you know, she's been bothering me because she wants to go to Fiji. Why? Because she, she wants to go swimming with the pigs in the ocean. I believe they do that in the Bahamas. Well, of course they do it in the Bahamas because they saw how fun it was in Fiji, right? I believe that is incorrect. Are you, are you saying they only do mm. it in the Bahamas? Their, their motto is it's better in the Bahamas. Oh, well, maybe we could do a thing where we swim with the mollusks in Fiji. Perhaps. Right? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused about complicated things. Anyways, I, you know, I think I'm, I have a way to get her to, uh, to cooperate if I take her to Fiji. Right. Anyways, uh, that's it for this week, right? I believe that's it. That's it. And you've got anything <clears throat> interesting going on besides Easter and all that? The staff passed the inspection. Oh, that's good. Yeah. He's, he's always inspecting on Saturday nights because they're not here. So he doesn't have to yell at them because he's actually a rather nice guy. I do not yell. Oh, I've heard him yell, but mostly at her. Right? Right. Anyways, uh, that's it for this week. Next week, uh, I, I, I don't know what's going on next week. Do we know what's going on next week? We've got a big guest coming soon. Soon? No, I, I think we've got uh, a, a wrestler, a female wrestler coming next week. Maybe, uh, maybe she'll wrestle. I believe she's a cage fighter. A cage fighter. Cage fighter. A cage fighter. So we're going to cage fighter next week and uh, some good movie of some kind, right? We're working on that, right? Yes, we are. And a good movie. And then, of course, we'll all be here. So uh, maybe you'll come back and join us, right? Right? Right. Right. All right. We will see you next week. We love you. Have a wonderful Easter. And don't eat all the eggs and don't eat too much candy. And remember... Do not give chocolate to your dog because it will make him sick, right? It poisons them. Oh, that's right. All right, we'll see you next time. So, uh, Tangella, I have an offer you cannot refuse. I would like you, for my taking you to Fiji, to tell the audience what your favorite movie is using your speaking voice. That's the deal. <laughs>